Host Profiles is a way of uh, streamlining your management solution for host configuration. Uh, in the past, like host configuration required a lot of steps. Uh, host Profiles actually helps you to streamline that process and manage your host management infrastructure much, much easier. The sort of the key insight that we used with Host Profiles was um, the, the idea that even though, you know, with virtual infrastructure, virtual infrastructure our users were going to have more and more physical machines to serve in the pool of resources, they didn't necessarily want to have more configurations. And so the idea between Host Profiles was to try to have a few configurations applied to many hosts. And along the way, you know, we would use the you know, computers to not just, you know, to help make sure the configuration is consistent, um, but also do the work for you. We cover almost every aspect of networking that VC provides. As far as storage is concerned, we, conf uh, we cover NFS, and we cover other things like firewalls, uh, NTP settings, uh, DNS settings, uh, user profiles, security profiles, and even uh, stuff like advanced settings that we see in host configuration. And if your host configuration changes over time, which does not adhere to the profile, we will flag an error or flag a warning to the user saying that your host is slowly going out of compliance with the profile or the configuration that you had asked us to create for you. When you create a cluster and say that cluster is enabled for DRS, HA, and or say FT, what we do in our profile is we mark some items saying that these are the minimum set of requirements for these solutions to actually work. For example, that all the hosts inside the cluster should have a vMotion link. What happens next is whenever you add a host into, into the cluster, first thing we check is these set, minimum set of requirements if the host meets that. If not, we flag a warning saying that, okay, this host does not meet your criteria. Host profiles is very flexible and it's different from the Kickstart scripts in the sense that a Kickstart script will probably cater to a set of hardware configurations, a minimal set of hardware configurations, while Host Profiles has flexible policies which helps you to uh, apply the same profile to heterogeneous set of hosts. And uh, it also helps you maintain the compliance of that host, that it reports the compliance of a host periodically. Well, basically, we have this uh, policy editor where you can edit the profile, and we organize all the profiles and the policies as a sort of tree structure. It's grouped by sort of categories, so you'll see network configuration in one place. In other cases, you'll see like NTP configuration, and you go and select the one that you wish to configure. In the case of IP address, um, there's a setting that says, you know, do, do use DHCP unconditionally. Another policy that option that you have is you could also pop up a question to ask the administrator at the time of configuration what values you want to set. I think the thing that really catalyzed the, the, the work and really got it going was when ESXi came along. Prior to ESX, when we had Service Console, there was still a lot more to manage. And the insight was that, well, if there isn't that Service Console thing to manage anymore, um, you know, all we have left is configuration. And so I think the thing that really got host profiles, you know, kettle, you know, going was that, wow, if we can really, if that's really all that's left, we really should just focus on that problem, get that problem solved. We are looking at large, very, very large scale deployments and we, VMware is going to in this, during, uh, at this cloud initiative where we are trying to abstract away the host in general, like it's just a bundle of resources sitting somewhere. One of the goals of data center uh, management, configuration management, is to eliminate homogeneity. But for various reasons, you know, the platforms are continually advancing. You know, you continually have new requirements come in. We, we, we spent most of our time dealing with that variation, and that's where sort of these policies have come in, where you take one host and you should be able to just stamp out, you know, hosts that are configured similarly. The way we designed it was very flexible with a large number of policies. It is extendable by the nature we designed it. So as things move forward, as new hardware comes into place, uh, new kinds of host configuration comes into place, new features come into place, they can easily plug into host profiles with the uh, set of policies that we provide and even add new profiles and policies to that.